the Predator clan leader is one cool looking figure. But is he really that cool? The Clan Leader Predator is a tough figure to get in good condition loose. It's all in his dreads, which is also his gimmick. The front of the packaging has original artwork of the Predator Clan Leader. He is holding his staff with both hands, his dreads are whipping around, and his power boots are activated. The gimmick for the Predator Clan Leader is that his dreads can whip around and his power boots can activate. To activate his power boots, you just grab the bottom of his feet and pull down till they snap in place. To activate his whipping dreadlocks, you push down on the lever on the back of his head. The thing about his dreadlocks are that a lot of the times you'll find them broken on most examples. It's tough to find one that's intact. I get it. The dreadlocks have notches on them, so they look like they should be snapped. But if they are, they look limp and just hang off his face. An intact pair of dreadlocks will look great on a displayed predator. The functionality is a different story. If your predator has broken dreadlocks, they'll just dance around and whip at random. An intact predator clan leader will have his dreadlocks do kind of like an upside down come here thing or something that reminds me of Dr. Zoidberg. Zoidberg. In the commercial, they do a grabby punch thing. Here's the secret, but I don't 100% recommend this because at this point, the toy is almost 30 years old. So do this at your own risk. Grab the base of the dreadlock, then gently turn it so that the notches are inward. And now you have that grabby punch like in the commercial. <laughs> Hope you got a good look because I will never turn to fragile dreadlocks again. See, mine is already cracked. But it was nice to finally put that mystery to bed. There are no other variations of the Kenner Predator Clan Leader, unless you count the NECA remake. The Predator Clan Leader's accessories include a staff and his face mask. The Kenner Predator action figures did not come with bio cards or mini comics. The Predator Leader has four points of articulation, arms and legs. If you want, you could count each notch on his dread, but I'm not going to sit here and do that for you. The Predator Clan Leader is mainly a reddish orange. He has large lower mandibles and black rings around his eyes. He has white dreads, some kind of head armor that goes to the back of his head, and this is where the gimmick lever is located. The armor continues down his back where it has wires. His face mask is very techy and has very long horns. He has a shoulder cannon on his left shoulder. His right wrist has a bracer and his left wrist has some kind of device. His arms look like they've been skinned since you can see all of the muscle detail. He has armor skivvies and open toe tall boots. The back of the boots look like they would hold the mechanism for the power part of the boots. Then there's the spikes at the ankles. The power boots has the mechanism sculpted on them. Finally, the whipping dreadlocks feel like an old straw with the ends that look like a clamp with wings. The Kenner Predator Clan Leader is cool, but not very good for action. He can't hold his staff very well. Sure, it feels like he has a great grip on it, but then he slowly lets go. 
I love having him on display, but that's about it. He looks good in one pose, as do most of these predators, but the predator clan leader seems to be more stiff than the rest. I hope you enjoyed this review of Kenner's Predator, Predator Clan Leader, and stay tuned for more Kenner toy reviews.